All right, predict the weight. Oh, wait, 19. All right, I bet you're over. Hello and welcome to this CCB video blog. This is another Throwback Thursday. Now this one's a concept I came up with when I started doing the FLWs as a co-angler. I figured it'd be really cool to do it like a diary. It kind of came from the MTV diaries when they had the uh, you know famous people just do a day in their life. And this is the first one I filmed. I was a little bit nervous. I didn't have the hat cam. You know, this was back in 2010. Not everybody had a camera. A lot of people weren't filming while they were out on a lake in a tournament. But the funny thing is, my first pro the first day was this guy named Mark Daniels Jr. Now at the time, he wasn't anybody. But they did tell me he was a real good local stick. So I probably had a, a good partner for the first day and I'd probably do pretty good. Now I filmed this in 2010, but I actually did not edit it uh, for another, I think it was like two or three years later before I actually edited this first tournament diary. But from that point on, I think right when I started to edit it was Mark Daniels Jr. just made it to the elite. Now he's a pretty well-known name as a Bass Pro. He's been in classics. He's done pretty good in classics. And so it's just kind of funny that he was my first ever pro as a co-angler. And I fished it for eight years and nobody else ever fished with that a pro that was a pro has ever become that big since. So it's, it's kind of kind of an interesting thing. That's kind of why I wanted to put this up. Another funny thing is at the end of this, at the end of this, I'm just showing the part with him. I had another partner that day too, but just the one with Mark. At the end when I'm talking to him, he was gonna leave. He thought he was done. He didn't even know he made the top 10. He was actually in fifth place. And his friends had to go grab him because the guy kept calling him because he needed to go to the meeting or he'd be dropped from the top 10 and they'd pick the next person. So somebody had to go grab him. But that was kind of the conversation at the very end of this is me talking to him because he didn't even know he made the top 10. He was just gonna take off. So that's kind of funny. And I, I don't think I mentioned that in the actual tournament diary. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> I'm a long way from home. I've been down a long time. Okay, we'll be on the water. I walk out every day. I fall in that main name. I wish I had. My spirit is weary and my conscience is Now he's sore. calling and I still got three. I can't go back to the start anymore. One ounce is 14th place. Great job, man. Appreciate it. Say your name, Chief Callum. You are a good guy. Hello. I'm Scott Kawa, and this is my tournament diary. September 21st, Clear Lake, California. Uh, FLW Everstart Series. I'll uh, be fishing this one as a co angler. And I show, sure hope I have a good tournament. Sure hope you enjoy the footage and hopefully I'm capturing the diary of first place finish. Here we go. It is fishing. <sighs> Alright, well I got everything packed. Hope I have everything I need. Um, long drive. Never actually been there from here, so hopefully it's an easy drive, but I got everything in there. I think I'm set. Now, it's just a matter of, I guess, seeing how I do. I guess we'll know by the end of this video. Well, I'm uh, partway there. Made it all the way to Sonoma Avenue. Beautiful area. There's a bunch of wine country right now. further. Now I'm actually sitting in Calistoga. Middle of Calistoga. Um, heard about it, never been here. 
Boy, this route is tough. I had to go through that wine country right after I showed you the video last time, and after that, I got busy and lights and took forever. Supposedly, I only got about 15 miles to go. <laughs> Okay, well, I made it to my destination. This is evidently Twin Pine Casino and Lodge. I still got about an hour before I sign in and an hour and a half before the meeting, but you can see right over there. I see a bass boat. I must be in the right place. Yeah, you don't fly, it's like the lottery, right? Yeah, you guys get these. Brought my toy this time. A little waterproof HD camera. I'm glad you made it. Yeah, and this time they called me last Monday. <laughs> See, now you got a fresh one. I have to get some footage of the uh, registration area. Okay, well, as you saw, I just went in there and did the whole registration thing. Got a free hat. Nice thing. FLW, of course, it's going to be a Ranger hat. Uh, and I just got to wait around for the meeting. I'm Further along in the stage, next is the pre-tournament meeting, and then tomorrow morning, first day of the tournament. Yes! For the tournament record, anytime you have a question on the water, anytime you have a question on the water about anything, compliance of rules or anything, please call me before you make a decision on what you're going to do. Make sure you make the right decision. Right there, away. Two names and then the vote number. Ron Crusco, Kurt Beardsley, your vote number one. Eric Cole, Still Kevin Grant. You heard, heard my name. Man. Eventually I'll get my part in right Robert Lee, Clint Anderson, your vote number 40. Mark Daniels Jr., Scott Kowal, your vote number 96. God, I finally heard my Stephen name. Stephen Tower, Stephen Anderson. 96. 96. I think we might be very interested. Fellow co -anglers. Trying to find a hotel. And then I think we might do this. Finally made it to my room. It was a long drive. Took one wrong turn or not really. I turned on and it didn't look like it, so I went into the shell station asked and they said, no, keep going straight, blah blah. Found it. Um, not much to worry about right now because my hotel evidently is just before the marina. It's actually a little bit further down the road, so I might First day partner is going to pick me up, I guess, right out here by the road at 5.45 in the morning. And so, now I'm just going to take my time after what he told me and rig up my reels and get myself all set up and go to bed and get ready for tomorrow. I just really got to figure out what I want to tie on my poles. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm almost done with my selection. Uh, been dealing with all that stuff. Just on the porch having a cigarette. And, <laughs> and it's clearly kind of old school, all that, but I find this kind of fun. Look across the street. I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of dark. <laughs> Look at the clothesline with all the clothes on. I mean, I just, that's. Holy classic Clear Lake, middle of nowhere lake. You know, all these people just have their linen out and hang it and dry it in the middle of the night. And that's how warm it is here. It's like it's still 80 degrees. I mean, look at that. Okay. I'm back. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I've rigged up after, you know, talking to my, my pro and, and what's going on. And after that funny thing with the, the laundry out there. So I'm, I'm taking five poles with me. He says he's junk fishing. He mentioned a swim bay. He mentioned top water. He mentioned a drop shot. So I have two of my rods rigged up with top water. One with a uh, buzz bait. The other one with a Super Spook Junior flitter shad. Um, the rod that I might do jigs or whatever, which he didn't mention. So I just uh, rigged it up with a five hot. Komatsu hook that I can probably throw a, a Senko on because I know Senkos are doing good. Um, a really lightweight pole. I have a swim bait that I like to use since you meant swim bait, so I have it hooked up with that. And 
my cranking rod. I just hooked up my little lock snap that I usually use because I don't know what I'm be throwing, either what kind of shallow crank or maybe what kind of rattle bait or rattle trap or whatever. So, I don't know. I think I'm pretty set up. Um, of course, I will keep you up for them or updated uh, during the day and tell you maybe if I've switched up. I don't know if any of these will catch me fish or if I'll switch up. And maybe tomorrow night when I'm back in here and re-rigging, it might be totally completely different stuff. But I think I have something going that's going to work uh, by what my pro says he's doing. So, don't know. Uh, right now, I'm just getting ready to uh, go to bed, get up, and see what tomorrow has to offer me. Okay, it's the morning of. Just got up. Just got ready sleep very well but got all my poles got all my stuff down there uh, my partner said he's gonna pick me up at 5:45. it's around 5 30 just getting the final stuff done and I'll go out front and wait for him and I'll check in once we get to launch and on the water and we'll see how this first day goes I just really need to wake up though. Too bad I don't drink coffee. Well, I'm at the launch, made the launch. I actually just had, had me back him in and I just parked the, the truck, locked it up and I'm going back to find him and we're gonna get this thing going. There's a lot of boats out there. Well, my partner finally saw me. Finally saw me, he's coming over to get me now. I thought you already saw me, I thought you were just talking. Well, that's right, I'm doing my video, I'm just like, oh look, he finally saw me, he's coming over now. What, what a great partner I picked the first day. I thought you were just brushing me off. I didn't see you, bro. Okay, part way through. He has a limit, of course. I have one fish. <laughs> I got a limit. P pretty much my standard for co-angling at the moment, but for some big ones. I, I did have another really nice one hooked that my drag is too loose, so I didn't get the hook in it and popped off. And caught a few little ones, but we still have time. Okay, we just started doing good in an area, and guess what? Otters came in. But I do have two fish now. He still has a limit, of course, but I got two. About the same size in the live well, so doing better than I've done. And we're like burning up out here. It's like, is it like 100 out here? <laughs> That's his description. It's hot. And now we came back to our first spot and there's all this crap. And it just it gunks up your whole reel and it's like, it's all over my shirt now. It's just. Well, there's fish here, so well, <laughs> right? <laughs> fish here, I'm getting my shirt dirty, oh, stuff all over my line. Oh, yeah, here you go. I'll show you the light one first. Those are my two lowly ones. Then you come over here to his side, and his side is just slightly fuller than mine. They can't even move in there. <laughs> so it's been an okay day. I actually have lost what? At least two keepers I've lost, huh? So it's better than I've ever done, and we still got a couple more hours to fish. So hopefully, the next update I have a live well like his. <laughs> I can hope, right? <laughs> At least now I got an idea about what to do for tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> More than what I had today, right? Yes, throw it over the top of it. <laughs>
right on film. Good. <laughs> more weight today than I caught both days the Delta so looking good but fuck. looked good but I missed uh, that one on right the boat that grabbed it got off and then the other one hooked and my drag was too loose and I lost it so I set a couple of hits to keep her, so we'll see how it goes It's a long way to hit the weigh-in station, so I'm sitting here waiting. It might take an hour. Smile. <laughs> what, what place? Come on, let's see your predictions. I don't know. A couple of the top. All right, predict the weight. Oh, wait. 19. All right, I bet you're over. I bet you're over 20. Mikey can't bring but five now. Don't put the five in that thing. Ooh, I'm running up now. Getting close. Y'all, please, folks. What a bag of food. You got a big one, Dwayne. I think, put them right here. Let's put them on the scale. I think you got five big ones, Dwayne. Look at me. Take them. Yeah, now I don't know what place I'm in. And like I said, I got seven pounds, ten ounces for those two fish. What? Yeah. Tosh. Did you, did you, did you, did you, I guess the boss was there. Well, I told you I looked at the video last night. Remember you said, oh, I don't know, I think I'm 13th, and they said first place at the time was, was 21. And then they called you it. Nick Verse, $127. I'm like, this, he's got to be in the top 10. Don't say which day. Brian Smith was in that third for $127. What? How'd you do this? Really? Yeah, I should have been doing this. Lost it. Yeah, yesterday when I went home, I was watching the footage and I said that. That's stupid. 20th place was 13th, and you said you were in 13th at almost 22. Oh, can I get one too? Good job, Made fifth my first day party. He's fishing tomorrow. Yeah, 39th place, Wade Curtis, 1,026. That's what I was telling you. 38, Stephen Tosh, 1,026. <laughs> 37, Dave Muller. Okay. 1,000. I congratulate you for it. Right on. Right on. Thanks, bro. You got to finish it off for me. Finish what off? Yeah, I did my oh. first tournament diary, and this, this could be the winner. This dude's my first one. He could be the winner. I, I didn't win. I was going good. But I, I could have been on the boat with the guy. That was terrific. Great. Yeah. Fast face. Fast. Fantastic. Really great. This kid. Yeah. <laughs>